Climbing in the Blue Mountains, Australia is unbelievably beautiful. With its swirling fog after a rainy day, its blue haze at dawn and dusk, and of course, its vast and iconic sandstone cliffs. I'm Molly, I've recently fallen in love with climbing, and this landscape has become my home. To me, climbing is the perfect balance of strength, technique, flow, mental state and connecting to nature. It's challenging both physically and mentally. I've only been climbing regularly since I arrived here six months ago and I have a longing to improve, something that has become addictive for me. But there is only one problem. I'm absolutely terrified of falling on lead. To try and overcome this and face my fears, I've been pushing myself harder and harder, projecting climbs which I know will force me to fall. I climbed my first 20, and then my first 21, and now I have sights on a 22. This is the story of that climb. So we're at the Glen, Centennial Glen near Blackheath. This climb is called Ruddy Nori, it's a grade 22, and I picked it because it's the easiest one here. I'm normally here with climbers who are much stronger than me, so they're climbing grades 25, 26 and above. So the start of the climb is very bouldery. You get a very high left foot and you throw for a little left hand crimp and then you push up with your right hand to get your other leg up. And then it's pretty easy climbing from there up until the first bolt, which is very high and it scares me every single time. From then on, it's very balanced climbing, balanced feet to get to a good rest. Up to the crux, which is a left hand crimp, right leg heel hook to get the other hand up, and then you have a nice jug to clip from. From that, you have a tiny, tiny left hand crimp. It's really slopey, it's really horrible, but you use that to balance on to throw up to a pocket. Match the hands, throw up for another crimp, and from there on it's pretty easy climbing with lots of jogs to the anchor. So the issue will be how scared I get and how pumped I get. I climb so much worse when I'm afraid of falling, and it's extremely frustrating to have my head hold me back so much, so that's something that I need to work on more than anything. I'm living simply, enjoying the small comforts of homegrown veggies, building a crackling fire and being hidden away from the hustle and bustle of the world. Whether it's crewing on sailboats, sleeping in a cave somewhere or travelling off the beaten path in our van, I'm happiest when I'm on the move, off-grid and living outdoors. Currently, this van is my home and this is my partner Philip, who introduced me to the world of climbing. From very early on, Philip pushed me to my very limit, taking me up some of the higher multi-pitches as I was learning. How are you doing in there? A little cave. I'm so scared. <laughs> Can I be on safety? Well, yeah, you gotta put yourself on safety there. Am I still safe? Yeah, you're, of course, you're on belay more. <laughs> you never stop being on belay. The climbing community is full of the most welcoming and warm people, <laughs> always happy to help each other. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Molly. <laughs> and everyone shares the same appreciation and respect for the natural environment. The zoom in. You. <laughs> 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 
Nights are spent around campfires with the sound of cockatoos and cockaburras, the cicadas and the frogs, and the smell of eucalyptus and dirt, just being 100% present. Our time in the mountains was coming to an end as we had plans to journey on, and time was short to reach my goal. Still afraid but determined to get the climb done, I practiced into the night. Taking small falls again and again and again ready for my last day in the mountains tomorrow. Oh my soul, sing my soul, you've been rescued by the king. So he scattered your enemies like we into leaves, like we into leaves, scattered like the wind into leaves. Oh, my soul. Afraid of the terror of our night. For those who wish you harm, his right hand that holds you tight. His eye is upon you, and he has the strongest arm. Relieved and still shaking from fear, I'm so happy to have finally done my project. And as soon as this climb was done, I was excited for the next. And so we left the familiar plateaus and ridgelines of the Blue Mountains and as always we took the long and winding scenic route towards the cold, wild, remote south coast. Along the way we couldn't help stop for a quick climb in Naura. Sometimes taking the long way around has its advantages. After we had no skin left on our fingers, we set off and made our way south. Coming up, we head inland to climb at the Grampians, Arapiles and beyond. She's coming so let's dance and sing.